I remember when the first search engines came around. And big, uh, back then, Alta Vista was a very big thing. Alta Vista tried to strike a balance between the inconveniences in terms of advertising and so on it could put on the user and the utility it had for the user. So it would, for instance, mix search results with advertising. And at this point, Google came along. Google was very small and inconsequential and nobody really took it seriously. But it did an amazing thing. It did give people exactly what they wanted. It gave them a pretty much ad-free experience. It gave them exactly the search results that they wanted, the best ones, closest ones to what people wanted to have. And Google dramatically outperformed Alta Vista. Alta Vista disappeared. Um, that was an amazing insight to see that if you are in a dramatically scalable economy like the internet, where you have the biggest amount of competition that you can possibly have, you need to build a product that is optimally aligned with the interests of the users, unless you manage to get some kind of monopoly and can drive out all the competition. And so when we build new products in that space, we have to think about how to build the most useful product. Not necessarily just the product that is going to make the biggest amount of money, um, that is going to have the most efficient business model in some sense, or the best business case. Eventually, it's going to be the product that is getting the most use by people. And people will find out that they will use most what is most useful to them. In the long run, that's going to be the stuff that is not addictive, that is hygienic, that serves their actual needs, that makes them more happy and fulfilled. And right now, we mostly build applications that utilize the cravings of people, that make them addicted. People start checking their smartphones every few seconds to see if a new email arrived, but this new email is not going to make them more happy and fulfilled. This, instead, it drags uh, away their attention. So I believe the next big movement in how we build technical systems will be hygienic technology. It will be how to build systems that is careful with our attention, how we use it, and that is careful with our way of living and what we want to achieve with the tools that we are building. Mm -hmm.